Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today we're going to have a lot of fun because you may have seen before I have my own racing go-kart and we've stepped it up got an all new 2022 one and in today's video you're going to see this go-kart it does over well it does about roughly 100 miles an hour it's so fast and very very physical and in today's video I've been training hard for something which is coming up shortly and we're going to be testing my fitness to the test. So I've now entered into an Ironman, which is happening in five weeks time. And I've been training so hard around the running track, swimming, uh, cycling. I've really been putting my body to the true, true test. What you can see on my wrist here is my Fitbit Sense. This has been amazing for activity, my sleep, nutrition, and also my mindfulness. It has absolutely everything. As you can see here, my resting heart rate is about 64 to 65 beats per minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a chance for me to go around the track, and then my Fitbit Sense is gonna be tracking everything, and we're gonna see all the data that it shows from my body going through a lot of stress today. Uh, and there's a lot of other cool features which we're gonna share in here as well. So anyway, let's get cracking. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little tour of uh, the go-kart and what we're gonna to use today. So this is an MS cart, uh, 2022 cart. You can see that because it's got all the new aero features on it. With driver, it's 160 kilos. So you are pretty much sat on the floor, which is why these are so rapid as well. You are on the floor. The steering wheel, you have lots of different features. You have your lap time, your previous lap time, predicted lap time, everything that comes all on the screen. Slick tires. So if you ever went karting in your local kart circuit, you'd probably know that you would probably have these sorts of tires and uh, they would probably be pretty worn out. These are pretty much brand new. Brakes are super sensitive, rear braking, you can have front. Yeah, that's pretty much all in all what it is. So fuel tanks between your legs. And yeah, they're just perfect training tools. So first run, we're gonna go out, make sure the seat's fitted, make sure I'm feeling comfortable. We're, we're gonna call the heart rate as well. So let's have a quick spin. Here we go on the track. First time I've been in a go-kart for a long time. So let's fill up the tire temperature. These things are flipping rapid. I forgot how fast these things are. Oh my goodness. My heart rate will be already pretty high. This, this way, this these handle is absolute madness. On the brakes, they are just so good, so precise. I'm looking around my shoulder. And then we're straight back on it. They're so quick. Wow, that was only a lap and that was already, wow, that was one lap and I am breathing hard. I am breathing hard. It is so physical. Heart rate's 130. 130. It's just come back down now. Yeah, 130. Now we're down at like, we're still down at. Oh yeah, you see here now we're still. I've only just I've been out the cart for like five minutes. I'm still at 105. There's only one lap. So we're going to do a 12 minute session. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go into the watch. If you see here, I'll click workout. Then I'll press the button play workout, and it loads. And the workout has now begun. I'm on 71 beats a minute, which is pretty much resting for me. 73, getting nervous. Um, and yeah, we'll see where we're at at the end of it. Should be interesting. All right, we go out the pit lane, make sure no one's coming. I mean, my heart rate's probably already high. Let's get cracking. It's so fast, straight out. I'm gonna warm the tires up better this time. And then, and then we'll be straight on it. Flipping, oh, it's so quick. Oh, I'm absolutely exhausted already. My arms already feel like they're gonna fall off. But this is why this is such perfect training for me. It wasn't how physical it is around the left. Little break. Let's straight back from it. Come on. Oh, we're really people in now. He's like trying to defend from me, 
fairly annoying. Around the left. Then we go carry the speed in. Get our exit there. And then we're in. Get on it, but I'm getting absolutely exhausted. And I can't even hold on to this thing. Oh, it is so physical. I'm just knackered every time I do like two laps, but that's why karting in itself is so good for it. So, yeah, it's, uh, I forgot how fast these things are, man. I genuinely forgot. Yeah, it's good. If roughly heart rate was like 148, 150. The serious workout, but yeah, just slowly getting used to the go-kart again, getting used to just, you know, just being back in the environment. I mean, I was just saying, it's literally like you're going on a, on a run if your heart rate's at like 150. Uh, that's what I run, that's what I, I cycle at less than that. I cycle at like 140, so 150. Probably peaked out, that's when I came in for the first time. So that probably peaked out at like 150. So it's tough enough. All right, so let's, let's jump out of here. We go and check my uh, Fitbit app and it's gonna tell us everything. So just had a cool down, sweating a lot. Um, so my Fitbit Sense has a Fitbit app which you can download uh, on the App Store and basically it would show me everything. So it would show me how long I was in cardio zone for, fat burn, etc. So it was really, really interesting. I actually came in between just to have a chat to the team so that's why my uh, heart rate at the end was uh, a little bit lower. My peak was 147 and that's basically where it was at for a lot of the time as you can see on here uh, when I was sort of on it. So it was round about 147, which is, which is definitely very, very high. Uh, but it gives me a graph of when I was sort of walking around, got in the go-kart, and then straight out into the fat burn zone, which is uh, pretty, pretty cool. I knew the heart rate would be high, but it's, it's about how high. Um, and in a racing scenario, the heart rate would be like that for, for example, in a long race, two hours, let's say. If I was doing Le Mans, three hours. So you'd be at 150, 160, 170 for three hours. So this is taking you to that place. Um, so yeah, it's uh, mind blowing when you think about it, but at somewhere like Le Mans, it would be, yeah, it'd be like, it'd be that heart rate for three, four hours. Hence why we do this training. Right, final, uh, final run coming up. Um, in this one, I'm just gonna talk through like being consistent. Uh, I just got like the times of like what people are doing uh, on like a race weekend. So race weekends around here, they do 44s. And right then, I thought I was, I felt fairly on it, and it looked all right, I hope. And that's 48s, 48.9. So I'm going to try and get consistent, bring the lap times down, um, and hopefully, yeah, just get quicker and quicker and quicker. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's all in just being smooth, like small inputs, nothing big. Like everything is so delicate. Don't, minimal inputs is like maximum reward um in a go-kart in one of these so yeah and then we're going to see obviously what the uh, what the heart rate's doing um over a race run which is about 15 minutes so let's go here we go let's go let's be consistent straight out of the box let's go straight on it just be as smooth as possible the tires will take a couple of laps to come in and then we'll be off. Brakes, carry the speed in, take up the power, around the left, little lift over the bump. Nice and smooth on the brakes, carry the speed in, and then on the power, use the runoff. Yeah, just a little brake. A little on the power, another little brake. And then I'll straight back on it again. On the brakes, a bit of curve. There, a little lift. And then straight back on it. All the way out. Lift here, no brake. And then out. And that was a 49 2. This is carnage ahead of me. He's going to move one wide. And I'm going to tee him up. There we go. You've got a bad exit. That's how you do it. Straight on the inside, you got a rubbish exit. I'm gonna teed him up. Have a bit of that, my boy. Come on. That was good. That was good. So I did a 47.7, 47.8. Seven, 
I think without that mistake, that would have been a 40, low 47. And do you know what I noticed there? I could put my visor up so you can see me. Uh, do you know what I noticed there? The biggest thing was my fitness. I already am adapting to it very quickly. I didn't feel as tired. My arms were better. I felt more smoother. I wasn't putting as much effort in, but I wasn't putting as much effort in, but I was going much faster. And that is what it's all about. So. Oh, now we're in. 118 still. Um, no, it felt good. Like everything's sort of slowly coming to it. And I'm not as out of breath, right? Because you slowly adapt quick. But I was trying to focus on lap times and being smoother. And the only thing you just get used to is you bounce around so much in these. But my heart rate then is consistently, I think, pretty high. Um, but I was already getting used to it, which is why we do these days. And these carts are amazing. They are like unreal. Like you can go in one of these for 500 pounds a day, and it's basically the quickest thing you'll ever go in on slicks. And you don't need to go any quicker. It's unbelievable. If you were ever thinking about it, just do it. So good. So there it is. My day has been exhausting fun i hope you guys have loved it it's been so so cool to be back in the go-kart and that car is just so fun but i'm exhausted one thing you haven't seen and that is the fitbit sense has been tracking everything and this includes the stress management feature i'm going to overlay my score because it's out of one to 100 i love racing it doesn't stress me out i kind of love it but the fitbit sense will literally show me everything and uh it's really important mentally the whole uh how stressed you are and I, it helps me massively with my training and that's what it's all about because if I ever feel a bit stressed I'm gonna go for a run. That's my way of dealing with stress. I've even been using the watch in the pool to help track my progress there too. As I use this more and more the Fitbit Sense will be able to build more data insights to help me improve my training schedule to help me get a better understanding of how my body is reacting to it. And I hope you guys also have uh, loved every second of today. It's been fun to be back on the track. I know you love the track content. It really is amazing to bring it to you all. Uh, my go-kart is actually gonna get prepared by the guys who've been running me today. And we're gonna just get back out in it. We're gonna do fun content, maybe enter some local races, get involved. It's a really good form of motorsport to get involved in. It's grassroots, it's where I started. And I think we can, uh, be back here soon and bring more content because I love the whole commentating and showing you guys a form of motorsport which you might not have seen before um, and the stuff which I've grown up my whole life with so I hope you've enjoyed it it's been massively fun to make and we will be back and uh, yeah make sure you also check out Fitbit I'll leave their links in the description and also in uh, the pinned comment as well hope you've enjoyed it guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you very soon